Raptors are nine and a half and two thirty-two against the Pelicans. What a story here! Best record in the NBA. The Raptors are twelve and one. The Pelicans are one and five on the road. Check the status of Miritich and also Peyton. And the uh, I mean, it's a freight train. They're winning games without Kawhi. They're kicking ass and taking names. They got an easy win against the Knicks. They didn't have to play the key guys in the fourth quarter as well. Nurse is doing a great job here as they're scoring a ton of points as well. A fun team to watch. And I'll tell you, the East became more interesting with Butler trade. They get to the getting uh, going to the 76ers. I know it's football season, but I can't wait till the Eastern Conference semifinals roll around with the playoffs here. As it was four very good teams in the East. So the Pelicans started 4 0. Then Davis got banged up. They lost six in a row. And now they've won two in a row. You can make a case that four of the best five teams in the NBA right now are in the Eastern Conference. Sure. And I don't know that I've been able to say that uh, in a, two decades. I mean, literally. But, you know, who's behind the Warriors in the West right now exactly? You know, whereas in the East, Milwaukee's pretty good. Boston's pretty good. Philly's pretty good. And, of course, this Raptors team has been a juggernaut. Ten of their 12 wins. This is a 12-1 and team. Ten of their 12 wins have come by nine points or more. You know, they're not beating teams. They're blowing teams off. The They've dominated this series. They're 6-0 and straight up, 4-2 and against the spread in their last, th- uh, last three years against the Pelicans. But it is worth noting that none of those wins came by more than nine points. Now we're starting to talk about you're laying a price with the Raptors, a team that is extraordinarily deep again. You know, why was Toronto so good? Why did they finish with the number one seed in the East last year? The depth. And what have they done this season? Boy, are they living up to their depth. You know, I mean, that, that they had, what, seven different guys in double digits the other night. Uh, the starting five was on the bench for the entire uh, fourth quarter uh, of that last ball game because the bench had played uh, so well. And, and you guys like, you know, guys like Seacom, who's coming in uh, and you're like, wow, you know, where'd he come from? All of a sudden, he's uh, being a dominating presence for Toronto to go with Kawhi, to go with Kyle Lowry, to go with Ibaka, to go with Danny Green. That is a loaded team, Pauly. I didn't get it coming into the campaign. I'll give you all the credit in the world because you did. And hopefully you've made some money with the Raptors so far. But Pelicans, after that rough road trip, remember they won four in a row to start the season, lost five in a row on the highway, and then uh, came home. They won back-to-back games. New Orleans, you know, (laughs) uh, they still have injury issues. You know, with Peyton and Miritich, uh, both questionable. And I don't know that I want them without Peyton in this ballgame. But the one is not an easy team to lay nine, nine and a half points to. They're pretty good, Paulie. The uh, I'm very impressed with the same two teams. Toronto's the big story and also Milwaukee. Milwaukee beats Denver on a back-to-back last night. That was a tough road trip. It kind of went the opposite of what you expected. It was a four-game road trip. They went two and two. They beat Golden State and Denver, and they lost to the Clippers in Portland, and they lost by two in overtime against uh, L.A., and Boonholz is doing a great job, and it's bombs away with Brooke Lopez. And with the Raptors, they went 4-0 and on that road trip as well, uh, ran out Sacramento, uh, got by Phoenix, some of those games, they didn't have Kawhi. And then, remember, they, they sat Kawhi in Los Angeles against the Lakers. It was 41-10 to 10 in the first quarter without Kawhi. Yeah. They didn't even play the next night in Utah, and they won that game as well. So now you take a look at that coming off the road trip. They hammered the Knicks. Look at the schedule coming up for Toronto, okay? And remember, Milwaukee, they lost to uh, the Clippers by two in overtime. Didn't play well, got run out by Portland. Okay, that happens. Tough place to play. The other loss was in Boston when the Celtics almost set the record for threes in a game. And that was a a one-possession game with a minute left. So you have to be impressed by Milwaukee and Toronto. And I got them every which way but loose. To win the East, to win it all, and uh, Toronto with Kawhi. Who knows? This might work out and he might stay there. But they have been fantastic so far. Don't be surprised if it's like a 22-2 and run when we we talk a month from now. Sure. And Kawhi's a guy who was never, give me the spotlight, give me the spotlight, which means Toronto might be a very good long-term location for him. But let's not sell this Pelicans team short. I know they had a rough road trip last time out. I also know they came back, held a couple opponents under 100 points. They have not been good defensively for most of the season. But uh, Anthony Davis, you know, talking about those back-to-back wins, it was real big for us. You know, you can't get too far down in the West or it's going to be trouble trying to get back up in the standings. So for us to come back home and take care of home court, it was big time for us. It gives us a little confidence going into two tough games. You know the Raptors are the number one team in the East, right? So it's going to be another big road trip for us. We've got to come out with both of them. So from uh, the Browse quote, 
Anthony Davis saying, expect maximum intensity for the New Orleans Pelicans tonight, which in this point spread range could mean enough for them to slip under the number. Number two in offensive efficiency, number four in defense. That's the Raptors. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.